Yo. You, you, you are now listening to the smoking section. Oh, yeah. Or oh, you'll find hot topics. And fire conversations. Hey, keep it locked. You hear me? I know you'd be out here hustling and shit, so I'm really thankful that you're coming on here. And, and, and taking the time. Dude. Yeah, we're, we're officially live, bro. So, again, thank hey. you dude, for, for coming through and doing this with me, man. Of course, bro. Got you, got you, got you. Honored, honored. Hi, yeah, dude. Well, welcome to the show. This is the Smoky Section. For people who don't know, this is my man Childish, a.k.a. Kid Nuck, a.k.a. Baller, a.k.a. your crump, your fucking favorite crump brand. Yeah, shout hey. out to the higher up, buckheads, all that Hey, yeah. Corpse Collection. I see you, bro. Hey, I see you doing shit. Um, if you want, bro, give people a quick a, a quick bio of who who you are, what you do, um, and then we'll just go from there, bro. Okay. Uh, well, for go for those that don't know me, uh, my name's Kevin. I'm the owner of Higher Up. Uh, I've been crumping uh, since 2008, um, and I didn't really start like taking it serious until like I graduated high school. I used to just re- like literally just session during like my breaks with the homies and shit like mm-hmm. during school hours and shit and just metal like jerkers shufflers like anyone and shit and, like, and then yeah i've been hustling uh t-shirts since like 2014 and i literally was just bored like just creating shit and i was like i'm gonna drop this <laughs> just because concrete said it was dope so <laughs> Yeah. That's a big cosign though, man. That's a cosign. Yeah, sign. man. Funny. Yeah, and then you know, I I I've always been into like basketball and like fashion and like sneakers, so I just combined that with my brand and just like you know, just catered it to the crop world. But yeah. Like Oh yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Like catch me at the local session just slanging shit out of my bag. I I still do that. <laughs> hey, dude. And a lot of people, a lot of people get caught up on this whole, like, e-commerce, like, got to do it off a website. Like, people really scared to bang it out the trunk, dude, straight up. Like, Bro, that's the best way. That's the best way. Like, for me, I'm, I'm hella introverted. So, me, like, being, like, in front of, like, a computer screen and, like, marketing through, like, social media, it's, that's just tough, man. I'd rather be in front of someone and make that connection with, like, you know, my consumer and shit and just, like, build that relationship, you know, and, like, let them know, like, hey, you don't really have to buy a shirt, you know, like, I fuck with you, like, you know, even if you don't buy something, you know, that's, 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 that's how I am and shit, so, you know, if you buy it, cool, if you don't, I'm not tripping. Yeah, dude, and I've I've seen I've seen so much of your stuff, so much of your work, and like, and even posts, you know, like even describing to people, like, yo, I'm not that extroverted of a person. Like, it's this yeah, is to me, like, and being vocal about it, dude. And that was yeah. that was actually one of the big reasons I wanted to make sure I I got you on the show, dude. Like, oh. you know, it's like this is a chance for us to talk. I really like doing this, especially yeah. like for COVID, like. We yeah. can talk face to face almost. And oh yeah. Oh, I don't know how many. I mean, I think I have like a thousand, like three thousand views on the basics live feed that we did, dude. Ended up having like a lot of views. Dude. A lot of people shared it and shit, bro. So it's like, if I can give a chance, bro. So it's like, so 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 yeah. if you can, what yeah. is a what is something that you want to make sure that you convey to people when it comes to your brands, bro? Like. Like higher up, like the name itself is like, like God, like damn, like that's such a yeah. that's such a good name. Like, yeah. so what's something that you hope that you can convey to people with your brain? Like, you know what I'm saying? I want people to know that, um, like, I always say, like, the reason why I create higher up is to like motivate people to like elevate themselves to like their fullest potential, you know, like, in whatever they do. It, it could be dancing, it could be business, uh, relationships, anything anything they do, you know? Like, as long as they give their 110%, man, and, like, be true to themselves, they could conquer anything, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's, 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 that's the mission statement I try to push to people, like, when, like, 
So when I see people like messing with the brand, like it, it's dope, you know. Like, and I I never try to like follow trends. I just try to like stay true to stuff that I like, and just cater it like in a way to like people to mess with it and shit, you know. So mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Did you knew and you know for people our our age, you know, roughly yeah. starting their businesses and especially clothing brands, it's it's hard, you know, and especially if you're going to, if you're a trend follower, which is okay, you know, but yeah. you want to find yourself looking at Pinterest all day long or, you know, a fashionista daily on Instagram, you know, yeah. and you, you are definitely outside the box when it comes to... You know your look, the style, the yeah. Product, even the way that you present the product is much yeah. different than what you would see with other brands. Yeah. So what gets you motivated, bro? What 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 has got you inspired right now? Because I mean, it's hard for people to be inspired in COVID. You yeah. Know? But what's keeping you inspired right now? Man. Uh. Honestly, like, just like community and stuff, you know, and like. I was supposed to be at this event today in Oceanside, uh, uh, but I, unfortunately, I had to work today. I had to DoorDash and shit. I had bills, you know. So I was watching at the stories, and, you know, I've just seen, like, a bunch of kids, like, wearing my stuff, you know. And that is, like, the best feeling, like, you know, to see, like, like money comes and goes. But, like, to see, like, the next generation, like, wearing that shit, like, proudly, like, that makes me happy, man. You know, like, and I know you're a father, so like, that's like, I could see your son like being like taking over the next generation too. You know, it's like, yeah, man. Like, I really like push for the youth because I used to be a basketball coach for mm-hmm. for kids. Yeah, uh, but unfortunately, I'll just say it. One of my, uh, I think back in 2013, uh, one of my uh kids that I used to coach uh passed away in a car accident. Oh my so God. yeah, so um he was only a sophomore in high school and I've known him since he was like sixth grade. So I, I kinda watched him grow up and uh I kinda stopped coaching because of that. Because like I, I kinda went into depression and shit. Uh off, dude. yeah man. Uh but so like I use that as motivation. To like you know just push you know because we're all young still so i try to like take care of myself you know and like not stress over little shit you know and just try to inspire the next you know the the next next ones coming up and shit you know like, dude that was another thing you know really i was even thinking earlier today like you know kind yeah. of i always i always try to think of stuff before the podcast you know and, yeah and you know mostly we just I mean, right now we just hopped on and just got live, but like, yeah. um, you know, I always, I've always noticed that about you, like that you, you are amongst a lot of people, a lot of people know who you are and I just never see you getting caught up in drama. Like oh, yeah. one thing and, and, and it's crazy and I'm really sorry to hear that dude, but it's like, yeah. it's crazy to hear that story and kind of be like, Oh, so this is. This is why he can keep his head out of so much shit, dude. Because there's other stuff he's he's dealt with and been there, dealing with or whatever. Yeah, there's man. there's worse stuff. Like the way I see it, like as far as like when it comes to drama, I'm like, man, it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I got we we all got lives, and it's like, man, what am I gonna stress about? Like this this little shit, you know? Like yeah, man. Like it's it's not, it's not worth it to me. Like I don't, I don't stress about that shit. Yeah. I've I've found myself, you know, before it was like, it was like, okay, you know, you don't, I don't want to understand you, and so I'm gonna be mad. And now for me, yeah, it feels like, you know, why aren't we understanding? Now I'm mad, like, cause we're, I'm not understanding. Yeah. like there's something like help me understand, bro. I, I need to, I need to understand where you're coming from. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's that's dope, dude, to know that more people, you know, cause. I mean, how old are you, bro? We're not we're not that young anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, starting to get old. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm 27. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, rem- I remember I was, I was like, I was like, Tep is like a year younger than me because I'm 28. I was like, he's like a year, like a year, two years younger than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so we're not 17 no more, man. We're not yeah, man. We it's like, we got, we got, we got more stuff to worry about. You know, it's like petty stuff. Like, it's not that serious. That's, that's how I see it. Yeah. So, dude, in a perfect, in a perfect world right now where you're, if you could move tomorrow or do what would what would you want to start doing either for like your brands or or you know even just for yourself personally like what's one thing if you could wake up in tomorrow and do it what would it be man i want to travel i want to travel like rip like the only the farthest place i've ever like traveled outside of cali was um i i went to london Oh. And that was, that was pretty cool. I went to London. Uh, I went to Paris, and then I went to uh, Italy. It was it was back in 2011, and it was like a graduation gift from my grandma. So, you know, it was it was pretty cool, and I really liked that experience. So I wanna I wanna be able to do that shit again. You know, so travel, hell yeah. Yeah, you know, like I just want to get lost in the city and just like experience the culture and just like meet the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, eat the food. You know. Spoke with the locals. So where would be the first place you visit? Let's see. I wanna go to Japan. Mm. Yeah. Japan nightlife sounds fun. Eat some bomb ass ramen out there. <laughs> Especially the ramen, bro. Man. That sounds fire. Yeah, yes. yeah well, I'm hopefully, you know. I really, I really do, I really, really do hope for it and like pray for it with you, bro. Because it's like everybody that everybody that I've met through Crunk, like you know, yeah. what I mean? being able to see how much like some of you guys really give to it, not yeah. only just to the dance part, but the community part. Like, I'll never forget you invited me to do an event. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the the playgrounds. The playgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I still remember that, bro. I'll never mm. forget that. And you've been somebody, you know, and even bringing back the Nogales session, which I wanted yeah. to get to next, it was like seeing that is like, yo, know, that's that's tight, bro. How much you really pour out, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. You never really asked for much from the community, you know? Not at all, man. So with Nogales, right? Yeah. What are you what are you really functioning with on that one, bro? Bro, so Nogales session is like as far as like the West Covina area, like, like the people that that started it and ran it is like, like my my heroes and shit, you know. Like I I watched them before I found Solo, like like um, Playboy, Topher, uh, yeah, all those people. Like I was watching them and shit, and I moved to that area. And it, it that that session's been dead for like almost ten years now, and shit. And I was tired of like driving all the way to like like Elsinore to make the the IE in general just to hold my own IE session. So I was like, I'll just bring this shit back, you know. And then I did, and ever since then, like it's just been gaining like traction again and like momentum. Like the OGs that started it like come by every now and then and get off with us uh we have we have um a lot of like newbies they come through they like like even before the session i offered like to like lab people up you know if like they want to like learn some crunk and shit like i told them hey just pull up like i got you you know i don't charge a dime i don't yeah. charge a dime you know like i don't know everything but i'll like if they want to learn more i'll lead them into like the right direction to like learn more and shit you know yeah and, and yeah man like and yeah we have that that session every thursday and we go on to like midnight or 1 a.m you know just dancing and then like hardly ever battles too like if you have a battle it's like just one battle and it's like in the midst of the session and then like right after that we're back into like sessioning and shit you know so like, like a battle segment but like, yeah you know like you stop this yeah yeah like because like i'm not really into battling i mean i could battle but like it's not really my thing i just like to like just get off with everyone and shit that's that's more my vibe you know 
Dude, and I, I feel like every, I feel like at some point, every street dancer has to kind of come to a realization with that. Like maybe, maybe your season is not even battling, you know, maybe yeah. your season is, is sessioning or maybe, or maybe it's not, maybe it's not, maybe it's the other way, or maybe you are just a diehard, just session dancer. Maybe you're just a diehard battler. Cause I feel, yeah. I, I feel like I kind of like, like yeah. Like whatever. Sometimes yeah. I feel like it. Sometimes I don't, dude. It's just like however I'm feeling that day. Man, man, yeah, man. I agree. Like there'll be times I'm like, I feel like just getting off, and sometimes I'll be like, I want to get off on someone. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you know, you just feel like you just wake up like, oh, today's that day. Today, like, yeah, yeah. Today, today. You know what I mean? Yeah, you you know that feeling, man. It's like not yesterday, not tomorrow. Today, right now. Today, yeah. and then once that moment comes, I'm like, man, I don't feel like battling anymore. I just want, to <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. I'm just like, I've always, as far as like crump. I've always been like, because it was difficult for me to make friends. So like I made friends through Crump and that's a Crump actually helped me like get out of my shell a little bit and shit and like form relationships and shit. And yeah, man, like that's why I session and shit. Like I just like to, I like to vibe with everyone, you know, like I'm not the best, but it feels good. You know, that's, 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 that's why I keep doing it. Dude, like, you know, and recently, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think recently for me, cr- uh, Crump has been fun again just for the fact that everybody's excited to see each other after, you know, pandemic and trying to work through the pandemic. Um, yeah. But, you know, to a sense, like, the, I, I sometimes I hate sessioning and sometimes yeah. I hate the battling and sometimes I just hate even just dancing period but watching everybody dance it's like it makes me want to go it's like yeah damn, just seeing them get off it's like all right this is why we're here like, yeah all this other shit's goofy this is why we're here and this is what's keeping me coming back because man you know, exactly moving out man. here in Cali was hard for me to have friends too dude so me I feel you. and everybody else dude it's like you always bring the vibes you always gotta you always gotta like, it's something good to say like you know what I mean amongst all the bullshit it's always something good yeah. for you to say and it's, and it's it's always very appreciate that man appreciate that man yeah I just like I want I want to get your opinion on something do you think there's such thing as being too nice in crump? Yeah, I feel like to an extent, I feel to an extent, but when you're too friendly, I feel that. Yeah. But I think yeah. that's also in life, right? Yeah. Where it's almost like where we are I think it's more like with some people they they find it hard to be dominant in a situation right like maybe yeah. de- almost demanding of what they might want or or say yeah. what they might feel or yeah like, yeah you did this and it's wrong like you know what i mean like demanding yeah. that demand um yeah but yeah I, I definitely do see that bro in, in, in the yeah community. yeah like there'll be times i'm like Man, like, I'll be honest. Sometimes I see kiss ups, bro. Like, and that shit's cringy. That shit's cringy, bro. I'm like, I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> you know, I, that's why most of the time I just stick to myself and shit. And I just try to stay out of drama and like, you know, I have no time for it. Like, yeah, people think people really think that kissing up or like trying to buddy buddy with people is going to get them somewhere, dude. They in, in the long run, when, you know, sure, it could. It could get you in those inner circles, right? Yeah. But once they do something that you're not fucking vibing with, like, you know, everything's going to go left. Oh, yeah. So, so I would rather just speak my mind, say my mind, and be around like-minded people. Like, you know what I mean? And, Hell, yeah. And I know that's might not make me the most popular person, but fuck them. Like, I Same. Just, High I five. <laughs> 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 I just can't. I know, and and that's another reason, bro. Where it was like I definitely wanted to get you on here and, and at least have uh, have some time to sit down and talk, bro. Because 
because I, I see a lot of the things that you think, bro, and it's just like, yes, my man, thank you, God, it's refreshing. Like I didn't. Man, like yeah, sometimes I just be ranting on my statuses, statuses, and I don't know who reads them, so I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I see, I see a lot of your stuff. Do you everything from your photography to man, dance like, clips, everything. Fuck, bro, like. It's tough, man. Like, I'm still learning, like, to break out of my shell. So it's like, I, I'm really honored to be on this. So I appreciate you, bro, like, for having me on here. Dude, of course, bro. Listen, I know, I know you were you were kind of squeezed on time and stuff. Yeah. I want to let you be able to go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. If if you got anything left, any last gemstones you want to drop for everybody before we sign out, dude? And again, thank you for coming on, bro. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, man, bro, whoever's watching this shit, go buy Corpse uh, brand or else I'm going to get off on you. <laughs> oh, man, What's up that, with that collab, though, bro? Yeah, we'll get one in. We'll get one in. We'll get one in. And we'll do, like, a photo shoot together or something, too, bro, soon. Oh, let's get some videos in, man. And yeah, man. I, I, I definitely want to pull up to an Oxnard session soon, bro. Like, oh yeah, dude! I'm trying to make it to Nogales, dude. Thursdays is hard for me, but I'm I'm gonna make it. I'm yeah, gonna make it. Like, don't don't even trip, bro. Like, we're adults, man. I, I understand, man. Yeah, bro. But yeah, bro. Like, thank you for having me. Uh, you guys want to follow me? My Instagram is childish951, and then uh, follow my Instagram, uh, hyr period up div, and you know, cost some dope shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. The gala session every Thursday. Pull up. And yeah, let's get live. You know? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, make sure you check it out. Higher Up Division. Yeah, this is my man, Childish. Also, check out his photography stuff as well. And if you guys can, listen, just like, comment, subscribe onto all of his stuff. I'm going to be sharing this around. My man, Kevin, thank you, bro. Yeah, thank I'm you, bro. Right now, bro. All right. Hey, take a big hit from me right now. All right, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Till next hey. time. Hey. All right, peace. Ha, ha, ha. Everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, again, this is your host, Big Corpse, and this has been the smoking section. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please, uh, you know, leave us a review. Uh, give us a rating one through five a two two and a half however you guys can do it please just leave us one let us know what we can do to be better um all that man and if you guys want to get on the show hit me up on my instagram account that's at corpse k-o-r-p-s-x um yeah and then and we'll we'll conversate and we'll get you guys on the show if you also have the chance please check out corpsecollection.com that's k-o-r-p-s-x collection.com um, go grab a shirt, a hoodie, a hat, whatever, buy something for your grandma or your sister or your niece or nephew. Um, it helps keep the podcast running and helps me put food on the table. Um, they are the sole sponsor of this show. I uh, love you guys. And I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. Hope you have an amazing week, month, year, and life. Like I said before, I'll see y'all on the flip side. All right. Bang.